Are you having trouble finding the motivation to stay healthy? Whether it's your food, whether it's staying active, or both. Well, let me give you a few tips to help you work on that. What is up, my Back to Life family? Today, I am going to be talking about healthy habits, okay? Last week's video was about how I built my house by the age of 24, so if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Thank you to everyone who has watched it and purchased your merch at nicobacktolife.com and subscribed. Super, super grateful for y'all, but today we're gonna dive into healthy habits. I mean, why is that so hard? It seems like the healthier you eat, the worse the food tastes and all those things. And at the end of the day, um, it's, it's actually a pretty simple concept. It's a simple process that actually gets um, too, you know, too complex for most people. And we create this, you know, confusion around it and, and kind of take ourselves out of like the one plus one equals two equation. And we try to create something that it's not. And the first thing that I want to tell you guys, and this is kind of what's starting the whole thing is, in order to go on a healthy lifestyle or healthy journey, you're gonna have to endure some super crappy days. Like, your journey is not gonna be simply fun, it's not gonna be exciting. You know, it might be a little bland if you don't really know how to cook and things like that, but it's gonna suck. There's a lot of days that really do suck when you're trying to live a healthy lifestyle because of the McDonald's, the Hardee's breakfast, the French fries, the, the cookies, and oh, let me grab a few pieces of candy, right? We've all been there, like I've been there, I know family members that are there right now, I know people that even are super into fitness that are there, but I'm here to tell you that you're still gonna feel crappy after you eat that stuff. Like, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do, like, we've all been there. Those situations really do suck. You're like, man, I just want a burger, I just want some fries, I just want some candy or a milkshake or ice cream, whatever it is, I used to binge eat my cheat meal as I would call it, and I would eat like 10,000 calories in one sitting, whether it was like wings and things from Zaxby's, plus ice cream, plus cookies, plus another cookie after my cookie, and it just, it was never ending, and it almost became like an idol to me to where I was like, I can't wait for my cheat meal. Well, guess what? Anyone that focuses on their health, you can pretty much ask them, and they all started from somewhere, okay? When I was like 11 to 12, and I'll show you the picture right here, I will never go back to this. This picture that I just showed you guys, and I'll show you one more time, check it out. I will never go back to this. It is my mission in life to never fall back, unless God just one day says, bam, you're gonna be super big, like this is not happening. If it is up to me, that is never going to happen again. Um, and I, you know, whether you were a little chunky or too, you know, fat as people say, or if you were too skinny, whatever the case was, was for you or is for you, that's okay, like we all start from somewhere. For instance, my sister, you know, she started texting me like, hey, I wanna lose a few pounds, and she's literally this big, but she's like, I wanna lose a few pounds, I've had two kids, I wanna lose a little in my midsection, and after like three days, she's like, I can't do this anymore, it sucks, blah, 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 blah. you know how it is. Well, I'm like, listen, Stay consistent for a week, show me what's going on. She texts me after the first week, she's like, wow, I'm down two and a half to three pounds, super excited. Stay consistent one more week. She texts me, two weeks, I'm down seven and a half pounds, right? Initially, you're gonna lose a lot of that weight, you're gonna see the results that you're looking for, and it's okay to feel down, it is okay to feel crappy, that is okay, that is life, but if you stay consistent with it, and you know that you're gonna endure crappy days, it doesn't feel as hard, all right? Let's move on, let's move on. Um, we are gonna talk about can you commit to getting started, okay? Getting started is the hardest, one of the hardest things ever, okay? Being at the gym, that's not the hard part. Why? Because you're like, I'm already there, I can work out, I'm fine. It's getting off of that couch. It's after a long, long day at work, oh, I'm exhausted. I don't wanna go to the gym, I don't wanna work out, I don't wanna go to the park, I don't wanna go for a walk. I've been on my feet all day long. That's the hardest thing to overcome. But once you can build that habit into your life, it literally becomes so easy. It's something you don't even think about anymore. You just know, I'm going to the gym, I'm going to the park. I'm gonna go be active, I'm gonna play with my kids. Whatever it is that you like to do, whether it's a hobby, what about tennis? Let's talk about rock climbing, hiking. I mean, there's so much, biking. I mean, there's so much you can do, rollerblading. I remember rollerblading like a 
kid and just loving it every single day, whatever it is that you wanna do, find a hobby, like go outside with it and create it around that. That way you don't feel like you're working out. You don't have to work out, just be active, okay? Staying active, keeping those calories burning all day long. That's all you have to do. And it's not gonna be easy, okay? You know, laying on the couch, after work, watching TV or whatever it is. Like this TV that you see in this top right corner, I don't even have it plugged in. Why? Because I don't watch TV. It's not my thing. I'd rather go sit on my back deck. I'd rather go think outside, kind of meditate, whatever it is, go for a walk, run. I'd go to the park and just walk sometimes. I love that kind of stuff. But it was created from something. I wasn't always like that. And I am just on the mission of wanting to always be moving. If you can always just tell yourself to keep it moving, which I got from Tobe Taylor, so shout out to that guy at T2 Fitness. He's a mentor to me. He's always talking about keep it moving. And finally it resonated with me where I was like, yo, as long as you keep it moving, your mind will follow, your life will follow. And as long as you're always moving, good things will fall into place. You just gotta always be on the move. You can't be stagnant. You don't wanna end up like one of those ponds or one of those little, like a little lake where it's just, you see that film over it and it's, there's gnats and mosquitoes and you're just kind of swatting away the whole time. You're like, this is disgusting. You don't want to become that. If your life becomes that, you are in a rough, rough situation and you have to get out of that ASAP. All right, let's move on. Number three. So we've got you moving. We're finally, we're on the go. Food, 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 okay? We are talking about the fuel that you are putting into your body. You can't go drive your car without gas, right? Uh, if you got a car that requires premium, 93, and you put 87 in it, you're gonna start messing up that engine. Guess what, our bodies are premium. They want 93. Our, our bodies are important. Our bodies are a temple. God created us as a temple. Like, put the right stuff into your body, okay? Me personally, I became a pescatarian two months ago. I love it. I eat only fish, you know, fruits, nuts, veggies, all that good stuff. But I love how I feel. I feel lean all the time and a fish is lean. So I want to feel like I'm lean, right? I want their scales to be my abs. But anyways, let's talk about the fried foods. You know, the large fry, the cookies, those things. Like, I know I kind of touched on it, but let's start a slow transition. You don't have to dive head first and then be burned out after the first week. I'm talking, if you eat two or three cookies a day, let's knock that down to one. If you drink a Starbucks drink a day, let's knock that down to one every two days, all right? Let's make it slow, make it realistic. Let's not think of something that's far-fetched and try to jump and hurdle over things that you know you can't even overcome. As simple as getting a Starbucks drink. If that is in your daily routine, guess what? That's become your lifestyle. So trying to just drop that cold turkey, that it's, it's nearly impossible. Like think about sugar. Sugar is pretty much a drug to us. Like I've watched a documentary and my brother kind of told me about it as well. I mean, they put mice in a controlled environment and had heroin and sugar and more mice chose sugar over heroin. So that tells you a lot and everything in America we do involves sugar. Let's go for a walk and grab some ice cream. Let's go for a run and grab a slushy. Oh, there's the ice cream man. I want the SpongeBob ice cream with the eyeball that I can chew as bubble gum, right? Or the Sonic. Like, I've been there. I understand it. The strawberry shortcake, uh, ice cream pops, like all that stuff is real and it's good and it tastes amazing, but you have to be able to fight that. You know, start slow, transition. It is okay. Fast food restaurants, they offer healthy alternatives. You got the salads at McDonald's, you got the, um, the fruit cups, you have the, the, the yogurt, the half yogurt, half granola, like start making that slow transition. Uh, even Starbucks offers like egg white bites and things like that. Like understand that you have to make this slow transition if you actually want it to see it work. My sister loves her sugary white vanilla latte ventis. Guess what? She started changing the creamer. She started using something that was low sugar, no sugar, and just finding things that were good alternatives. And she's down seven and a half pounds in two weeks. And that was a week and a half ago. So you gotta be able to create that slow transition. Um, and let's say we're talking about beer. Let's talk about alcohol. All right, if you're drinking a six pack every weekend or two or three six packs a week, Think about the calories you're consuming there. You're, you're gonna be stagnant. Even you can go for your walks and runs and you're just not helping yourself at that point. So let's make our daily choices a little bit better. It's that simple, all right? Number four, combine these two things. 
we're moving, we're making healthy choices with our food. We are constantly on the go. We are constantly moving, we're moving, we're moving. Guess what? Okay, I got a question. It's, can you right now get started by moving and improving your food choices right now? You're like, ah, I can't do it. Why? That's my answer. Like my, my answer slash question to follow up is why? Why not today? Why not tomorrow? Okay, you've already eaten crappy today, tonight, whenever you're watching this video. Why not start? Let's do it. Let's start. Let's make our choices. Let's be better. Okay? There's, in my opinion, if your outside appearance, like I'm not saying worship your outside appearance. What I'm saying is if you don't feel comfortable, like you wanna to go to the beach and you're a woman and you're only wearing a one piece because you're afraid to show your stomach or whatever it is, let's work on that. Like let's get back. Like let's get you in a two piece. I wanna see you in a two piece. Cause guess what? I wanna see me take my shirt off when I'm at the beach. I wanna feel good. I wanna get the sun. I wanna be out there. I wanna get a tan. Like this is a team effort. I am here with y'all. If you've got questions about health and fitness, whatever it is, how to make better choices with food, um, whatever your exercises could be like i got you you know i'm here to get you back to life i don't just talk about this stuff for no reason i believe this and i live this okay this is something that you want to start today if you keep waiting next thing you know a year down the road you've gained 25 pounds and you didn't notice it okay you didn't notice that that one starbucks coffee or that one cookie a day caused you to gain 25 pounds over one year that's how calories work you don't see it every single day. You don't see it in the mirror. You kind of, oh, maybe I'm getting a little pudgy and tight, jeans are getting tighter. At the end of the year, you can't fit into those jeans. Let's not make that another year. Why not cut those things out and be down 25 pounds by this time next year? Do this with me. I do this on a daily basis. I believe in this. I love this. And it, it's, it's um, addicting. That's my word for it. I absolutely love being healthy. I love making healthy choices. I love the feeling of being able to feel comfortable in myself. Those are my four tips, um, four, 1200, however many that was, um, 777, seven is my favorite number. Those are my tips on how you can make healthier choices, okay? So if you have issues, you know, being strong-minded or you can't really make that decision, you're afraid to leave because you want that food and it's become like a idol or a drug to you, like, Start making that slow transition. Be okay with not getting everything that you desire, okay? There's a ton of stuff that I want, but I know it's not good for me. It's not good for you. Like, you have to make that realization. So, listen to this video. Listen to it back if you need to. Write out a plan. Start a journal. Write down what you eat, whatever it is. Write down your healthy choices every single day. Go back and reflect at the end of the day and be like, wow, congratulations. You did this because it is you that's going to reap the benefits. I promise you shall reap what you sow. And I tell you, when you plant a seed in the ground and you water it and you give it sunlight, guess what? You get a beautiful plant. Be that, sprout, feel good about yourself, love yourself, live your best life. And honestly, just get back to life. That's why I do what I do, all right? So let me just say thank you for watching this video. Thank you for coming back. Thank you for watching my last videos. I'm going on a, another trip, so you're gonna see where I'm at. And I can't wait to share this whole experience with you. And I love you so much. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, turn on your post notifications. If you've been with me, I super appreciate your support. I super appreciate it. If you're new, please subscribe and please turn on your post notifications. Tell a friend, share the video, whatever you feel is worthy. And if you haven't yet, Grab your Back to Life merch. Shirts are super cool. This is the gold chrome. We've got red chrome, uh, hoodies, whatever it is that you need. The white one is super cool. Um, show support, nicobacktolife.com. That's nicobacktolife.com. Nico Grab your merch and send me a picture, please, so that I can repost it. I love seeing who all got something. Thank you once again. I love you all. I can't wait to drop my next video. I will see you on my next vlog, my Back to Life family. Peace.